Hey, what's up, everyone? Today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be a breakdown of a match I had recently against a rank one Swift. It was a very competitive match. This Swift was extremely efficient with uh, gen rushing and just getting map and gen control. Like they had me on the ropes, working the body the entire match. Like I, they had what? They had one gen left, and I still didn't kill anyone. Like it was, it was down to the wire. Like if I didn't, if I wasn't using pig, would have reversed bear traps. Any other killer in the same situation, I would have lost. All of them would have escaped, or I would have maybe, maybe been lucky if I would have got one and camp hook and got a single, a single kill. It was this this swift? They didn't care about points. They did not care. Their objective was get the gens done and get out. They're fine with 10,000 points. That's how they were playing. No anything against it. They were doing their objective. I was doing mine. But I got more points. <laughs> but uh, yeah, enjoy the video. If this does well, I'll do it with other killers that I have really good matches with against uh, high-ranking Swifts. So let's get to the gameplay. Uh -huh. Here I try to just pre-swing through the pallet, thinking she's gonna camp it, see if I can get a hit on her, but she doesn't. She mind games my mind game, and I'm, I'm realizing here I'm wasting time on this person. So I'm like, so let's see if they drop the pallet. They waste the pallet, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go over here to hear the gen getting done. I hit the Felix just to get him to go away from the gen, and I have oppression, so I want to use it to see if they're working on gens anywhere else on the map. And they fail a seal check, and it's across the map. So by the time I get there, they're gonna have a decent amount of progress on that gen. So I gotta be quick. I break that pallet to get rid of it and I make my way across the map to get more map pressure. I'm walking to go to the gen that failed the skill check. I realize this gen also has progress on it. This is an extremely efficient swift. Like they, they're doing every gen, they're, they're gonna be cranking them out soon enough. I know I'm gonna fail. I know a, a gens are gonna pop, it's gonna be any second because they're literally on every gen. They have progress on every gen. Their, their communication is top notch. So I know this is gonna be a tough one and I'm gonna literally, it's gonna go down to the wire this match. I usually don't kick gens like this, especially when I know oppression or pop, just because it really doesn't do anything in most matches. But when you're versing Swifts like like this, where they just are constantly pumping out gens, when I scare them away, I'm gonna kick a gen to buy myself a couple seconds because every second counts. And when they're gen rushing like this and being efficient, you have to do this. So that's why I'm doing it. This Yui right here is countering my mind games. The basic mind games aren't gonna work. I thought they would try to get her to vault back on the pallet. Didn't work, I'm already wasting a lot of time on this Yui, so I either gotta commit down her to get her on a hook, try to get a trap activated, or I gotta go to someone else and get a hit. Because the amount of time I wasted, another gen's gonna pop any second. And I, she wastes pallet, which is awesome for me, waste shack pallet, and I'm gonna go and go kick this gen. Just to show you how efficient this Swift is, I kick that gen, my oppression goes off, they fail the skill check on that gen. So they, they have two gens probably almost complete because I haven't even seen the progress on that gen. That just shows how efficient this Swift is. They're just pumping out gens. They're, they, they just want to get the gens done and get out. They're just doing the objective. They're extremely efficient. Their communication's top notch. If, if I could look through this match and spectate, I guarantee you every second of this match, there was a survivor on the gen at all times. Like these, this Swift does not play around. They're getting the gens done and they're getting out. They're not they're not hanging around the play or nothing. They're getting out of there.
It's swift right now at this point. They have complete and utter Mac engine control on me. They they don't respect me as killer. They do they do not fear killer at all. They're just doing gens. Every gen probably has progress. Every gen I go to has half progress on it, which is, is terrible news for me because if I come in on any chase, a gen's guaranteed to pop. This is how the Swift's playing. Like they're playing extremely efficient. I can't say it enough how efficient the Swift is. It was annoying how efficient they were. The one gen popping my uh, reverse bear trap on the Cheryl's uh, head is now active. So that's one less person on the gen. It's going to buy me some time if RNG is on my side, which in most cases is not. They get it off the first try usually. So this way, it's going to keep them off gens, which is good news for me. It'll be one less person on the gen. Right here I see Cheryl leaving to go get the person off the hook. Felix stays and finishes the gen. And doing so activates two traps on their head. So that's two people, two less people that are on gens, which helps me out greatly, especially if there's one gen left. I ignore the Felix because he's going right to the uh, safe space and shack or the nearest loop. He's just gonna waste my time. I'm not gonna give him that. I'm gonna go to the trade right here with the Cheryl. She's gonna go for the unhook. Doesn't care, she's gonna take the trade. And in doing so, she gets a trap on her head. So if they do get the final gen finished, her trap's activated, which helps me. She can't leave unless she gets it off. I throw her on there and the process continues of map and gen pressure. feel bad doing this to the Yui, but I couldn't find anyone else. And I should have known by the fact that she didn't leave the uh, jigsaw box that she would have DS. She uses it, and I should have expected that, but I'd rather use it now than when there's zero gens. So I chase her. I'm already committed to her, and I already know that there's a po possibly one person on the gen. It's most likely the Felix, and I'm confident that the gens aren't progressed that far to where I could actually sacrifice going after her. I'm praying the gens aren't that far along, and this Yui makes mistake here. She's not looking behind her and blindly vaults the window and gives me an easy down. I was praying that she'd be dead on hook, but she's not. And I put her far away from the gens where they're at, where they would have to pull someone away from a gen to go get her, which is good news for me. And when I throw her on the hook, I see that there's two of them on a gen with a barbecue, which is not good at all. So I got to rush over there and then use my pop. I get Felix off the gen. I know he's going to go across the map to get the UE off the hook, so I know I have time. And I know the other survivor's probably trying to get the trap off their head to go for the hook as well. I notice that Cheryl here runs into a dead zone, so I'm going to commit to her because she's injured, get an easy down, put the trap on her head, just in case the, the gen does pop, three traps are active, and I can focus on Felix and make up for lost time because I haven't even hooked Felix once, but I just wasn't because he has a med kit. I don't want to risk him having an instant heal and wasting more time, so I left him alone. I use my oppression just to see what's going on. No one's on the gen. I'm pretty sure that was a, a jigsaw box that which was triggered there with the notification. And I immediately use my barbecue and get right back into map and gen pressure.
Right here, I get Ely out of here, and with my pop, I see that they're all scattered across the map. No one's really on a gen that I could see, so it's good news for me. I'm going to go to this reverse bear trap where I saw someone's at, and I get the notification that confirms that she's there. I try to sneak up, get the element of surprise, and she's in a dead zone, so I know this person's out as well, and I'm pretty sure they were dead on hook at the time, so I knew I was going to get two out right away. Just, she has nowhere to go in a dead zone. She's down. I get her on the hook. She's out, and now it's down to two. Right here, I go after the paranoid Felix, who immediately bolts to the nearest uh, pallet for safety. I commit on a lunge, I get him. He wastes the pallet and wastes his sprint burst right there, so it's awesome for me. I hit the gen with my oppression and pop to see if there's any gens being worked on, because there's one in the distance that I'm worried about. I break the pallet, and when I'm looking at the gen in the distance, I notice the uh, injured Cheryl running, not even on a gen. So I'm like, all right, she's going to go now because she's in the dead zone. There's no pallets over here anymore for her, because they've been wasted. So I know it's just going to be a mind game. She's going to waste my time. And I know the Felix is off healing himself, and right there he heals himself. Um, no, he's not on a gen. He's just worried about healing himself. So I commit to the, uh, the Cheryl here, and I forgot... Because my when she had my traps on, I had the add-on where they're exhausted. She dead hard spies herself a few more seconds. I thought she was gonna vault again, because usually what they do is they they double back on their vault. She didn't, and then she tries to commit to the window, but she wasn't gonna get it. I get her down, and I slug her because I remember that the uh, the sh the uh, hatch was by Killer Shack, and I have a feeling that's where the Felix is, probably camping by hatch trying to get out. And right here, I see him through the window when I look at Killer Shack. I see him. I vaguely see his shadow go by the window. So I'm like, all right, Felix, you're done. I knew what he was doing. He's just going to wait by the hatch. And I'm pretty sure hatch is right here. Yeah, it's right there. And that's where he was waiting. He was just going to camp hatch and try to get out, which you're not going to do. You don't, in my opinion, you didn't really deserve it. You kind of just hid by pallets, buddy. But you're going to go down now. I chase after the Felix. I get him with the mind game here. Hit him. Get the hit on him. He bolts. Chase after him. Keep going after him right here. And just a simple mind game, and I get him. That's why I wasn't really worried about this Felix with his med kit. He was confident with gens, but he wasn't good with mind games or pallets. He couldn't drop that pallet time. Got him, and he's out of there, and I win the game. All of them were rank ones, and I'm pretty sure three of them D-pipped. How they were playing, they weren't playing for points, they were just playing to win, and their scores show that. Two of them got 10K, one got 17K, and the Felix for being last alive, he got 23K just because he did gens. Yeah.